Even though I'm a woman, I do not play a lady's golf shaft. And in this video, you're gonna find out why. Sounded pretty good. Yeah. That was crush. Hey golfers, it's Thomas Campbell, Master Club Fitter at Second Swing. Today I'm joined by Jackie Johnson and we're going to be explaining what shaft flex you should be playing regardless of whether you are a woman or a man. Let's face it, the golf club does not know whether you are a male or a female hitting it. So end of the day, we should be fitting to your swing tendencies, not to your gender stereotype. So Jackie, I know you work online and help with, with fittings as well. What is one of the questions that comes up with regards to shaft flex and what shaft flex a woman should be playing? Yeah, I think right out of the gate, most women feel like they should be in a ladies flex regardless, just because of the stereotype of ladies flex. And I think, you know, this type of information is definitely valuable to understand that just because you are a woman does not mean that you need a ladies flex. And, you know, again, like you said, the club doesn't know if you're a man or a woman. So based on your swing speed, you know, where, where should you lie? Yeah, so we're gonna be testing a wide range of golf shafts here today. So we're gonna be testing the woman's flex. We're gonna be testing a flex. We're gonna be testing regular flex. We're gonna be testing a steel fiber golf shaft and also a lighter regular steel golf shaft. And you currently play a regular graphite shaft, correct? Yep, 65 gram. So 65 grams. So you're kind of right in between. So we're going to test them all and figure out kind of what shaft flex you should be playing based on your swing and tendencies, not based on your gender. So first off, we're going to be hitting with the TaylorMade P790 irons. I know that's an iron head that you've been interested in playing possibly in 2021. We're going to start off with the ladies flex. So the ladies flex, these are all going to be standard length Standard woman's flex is usually a little bit shorter, so this may feel a little bit different to you as well. So let's hit some shots and see what happens. All right, let's go. Okay, so Jackie, I believe it was swing four that you had there. It looked a little bit off balance. It just looked out of sync. Does that, how did that golf shaft feel in general? Whippy. Whippy, all right. Yeah, so <laughs> yeah. it's very light. So the weight of it's 45 grams. Yeah, I just felt like, I mean, when I made good contact, I, I put some good swings on the ball, but I just felt like I uh, couldn't control it as much as I'm used to. So I honestly had no idea necessarily how far it was going to go on some of those miss hits. Yeah, and I'm gonna I'm gonna take away that miss hit here. That was that one there that uh, that was a lot shorter. You'll notice your ball speed dropped and everything like that. So if we take that one away. You notice you did have some pretty good shots. You had some shots there that did carry 140 yards. There's no doubt that on your good shots you can still hit it pretty well. Yeah. But you'll notice your miss hits uh, definitely kind of changed, and you'll notice your average height, even with that one taken away, was under 70 feet. And I know when we've done other testing with irons you've been hovering over 70 feet. So you just didn't hit it quite as solid. Mm -hmm. Okay, Jackie, next up, we're gonna hit the Modus 105 regular. So your club speed is hovering a little bit over 70 miles an hour, usually above 70 miles an hour when we have that conversation with regards to a regular flex golf shaft. Now, whether that's regular steel, whether that reg regular graphite, or whether that's maybe an A-flex, we're gonna find that out today. So okay. let's first start off with a little heavier golf shaft the Modus 105. Nice. Okay, Jackie, now we've hit, uh, we hit six shots with the uh, Modus 105 regular golf shaft. Now this is at the other end of the spectrum, so this is gonna feel quite a bit heavier compared to the last golf shaft. You did have that one that was a little bit low drive that you missed it. I'm going to take that one away. I think it only got about 22 feet in the air, a little bit thin. Uh, but definitely looked like the bull flew a little lower. Yeah, it, it definitely, uh, pretty big jump going from 45 to 105 grams. So a little bit of an adjustment there, but definitely felt heavier. Um, and even on my miss hits was just, you could definitely feel it in the shaft if I miss hit it. 
Yeah, and I mean, this is important to note too because there are some women out there that are just playing that steel golf shaft and they clearly should not be playing that steel golf shaft. Now, the other thing to point out too is those clubs are probably not very forgiving for them either and they're probably just baby clubs that they picked up at the, a garage sale somewhere there as well and haven't been fitted properly. So it's important that you do get fit for the right golf shaft. And we're kind of seeing this right away that who knows we went too heavy, hit the ball a little lower and you had a little harder time hitting it every single time. You had one you hit well that was up there with regards to the ladies flex but everything else was a little bit shorter. So let's now test in between. Okay, so next up is the Mitsubishi MMT uh, A-Flex. So A-Flex is considered in between uh, ladies flex and regular flex. I don't like to use the word senior flex because there is a lot of women out there that should probably be playing a senior or slash A-Flex and there's a lot of juniors out there that should be playing that same golf shaft too. And it may kind of you know, look down and see A-Flex, not think about it. But if, it's, if you call it a senior flex, you're like, well, I'm not a senior, I shouldn't play this golf shaft. Once again, Stereotypes in the golf industry can be challenging. So this is the MMT 55 A-Flex. You just leaving the face just a little bit open coming yeah. through. Sounded pretty good. Yeah. Okay, so Jackie, that last swing that you finished with, that was pretty solid. Yeah, it definitely felt good. Um, you know, it felt soft off the face. It felt like I definitely knew it, it was going to fly pretty far. Yeah, you hit that one really well, and that was probably the furthest one that you have actually kind of hit today with regards to kind of carry distance. But I want to touch on the dispersion pattern. So we'll notice kind of what happened with the, with the ladies' flex. You're leaving it kind of a little bit to the, to the right. With the regular steel shaft, you're hitting it just a little bit to the left side. And then you'll notice the tendency to hit the ball a little bit straighter there with the A-flex golf shaft. So that's important. So dispersion is pattern is very important. It's not all about distance. Even though you were still keeping up there with regards to the ladies flex total carry distance, you'll notice 138.6 versus 139.1. You'll notice that dispersion is important. So you want to hit the ball nice and straight every single time, which is really, really important. One last thing I did want to touch on here too is when we went to the A-flex golf shaft is your height. So you actually were hitting that one a little bit higher on average. Landing angle there at 41.2 was also the highest landing angle. So the best stopping power out of all the golf shafts that you've hit. So not only was it flying straighter, but it was just performing better. That was crushed. Yeah, that was hit Felt well. like it. Well, you just left the face just a little bit open. It yeah. was hit well. Okay, so Jackie, we're four golf shafts in now. I want to touch a little bit on the feel because you've had a chance to now test a wide range from ladies flex all the way up to a steel regular golf shaft. What has felt the best to you so far? Well, the regular 65 gram definitely feels the best just because that's what I'm currently at. So naturally, I'm a little bit more confident with that and definitely a similar feel to what I, I have right now. Have you felt like the golf shaft has been a little easier to load with a lighter shaft or a heavier shaft, or have you felt any tendencies at all? Um, like with the lighter shaft, I definitely felt like I had to almost slow down so that it wasn't like too whippy and going through the ball before my hips would get through. That was one of the things I noticed right away. Um, and kind of even with the senior flex a little bit, but that one was a little bit better. And with the heavier shaft, I felt like I had to swing out of my shoes and like, you know, swing as hard as I can in order to square up the face. Yeah, you did hit three really good shots here with the MMT regular flex. So these are the blue ones that are kind of flashing here. You had a couple that were, you know, slight miss hits here, but notice how they were nice and straight. So that definitely kind of stands out to me, which is kind of really important. So with this particular golf shaft, you definitely had three shots here that were carrying a little bit further and you can definitely tell you that seemed a little bit more comfortable there you actually generated the kind of like the highest club speed and the highest ball speed with that particular golf shaft there as well and you'll notice the height was actually just a little bit higher and we've said that you normally around about 70 feet we need a little extra height to get that thing to stand to stop on the green a little faster so that was that was pretty intriguing so we've got one other golf shaft i want to also throw in the mix this is one's kind of a little unique because it's kind of like an in-between steel and regular golf shaft it's called the steel fiber 
So we're gonna test the steel fiber. This one weighs around about 95 grams. So it's probably gonna feel a little bit heavier. Just for testing purposes, I wanna get some feedback from you. Okay, so Jackie, still fiber. You hit some pretty good shots with this the shaft. It's really a good golf shaft for those players that are maybe making a transition to a little heavier golf shaft, or maybe those players that have been playing a heavier golf shaft and want to make that transition to a little lighter golf shaft. So it's a pretty unique golf shaft. Yeah, um, first impression is definitely, like the feel of it was significant. Like I definitely, it was great feel in terms of forgiveness in it, but also I felt like I could control it. Weird that it's, you know, 30 grams heavier than what I'm currently playing because it definitely didn't feel that heavy. Like, yep. I, it, it definitely felt, uh, you know, more in that 80 range, I would say, of what I would expect. But overall, I, I really enjoyed hitting it. I mean, I was hitting it straight, so I like to see that. It was a very stable golf shaft. That's one that kind of stood out to me. You were hitting it straight kind of every single time was definitely stood out to me there, too. But end of the day, the player, what they feel with regards to golf shaft is number one. So was there a golf shaft out of those five that felt the most comfortable to you with regards to feel in your hands? Uh, I would say the, the 65 gram in the you know, regular flex as well as the steel fiber were definitely, I mean, they just felt different, but I felt comfortable with both of them more than I felt comfortable with any other shaft. So, um, I felt like I could swing maybe a little bit harder on the 65 gram, but I felt stability with the steel fiber, so. Yeah, I, I mean, if we take a look here and see, you'll notice with the little heavier, the steel fiber shaft, you did lose a little bit in height. So we notice your mm -hmm. height kind of went down, but the consistency numbers were kind of the thing that stood out to me. It was really consistent. The plus or minus numbers was really consistent there as well. And keep in mind, it's still a pretty small sample size. There's only five shots with each one, but this really does showcase the differences in the golf shafts and also showcases the fact that as a woman you don't need to be playing women's golf shaft. We notice that didn't quite perform as well as there's other options out there that can definitely kind of perform better. End of the day you want to hit nice and straight, end of the day you want to feel good in your hands and you're telling me that a regular graphite or possibly the steel fiber shaft felt the best to you. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, yeah so this is really important to note because Custom fitting, it's not just for men, it's for women as well. So don't feel intimidated to come on in second swing and get a, cl a club fitting. We love to work with women. I know the golf industry has been pretty male um, dominated for the last kind of few years, but there's definitely a trend coming more and more women that are enjoying the game of golf. And it's important to enjoy the game of golf with the right club clubs in your hands there too. So this was really interesting. Jackie, thanks so much for joining today and Show, showcasing the differences in shafts. Yeah, thanks for having me. So if you're a woman and you're interested in getting a club fitting, come on into Second Swing, come into our stores, also work with someone online. We have some great online fitters as well that can definitely help you with regards to tell, working on your club swing tendencies. Keep in mind, the golf club does not know whether you are a woman or a man. So if you come into a store and someone directs you straight to the woman's section when you walk into that store, tell them, hey, I'm here to get fit for my swing speed. So that's important to note when you are getting fit. So a second swing will definitely look after you. So come on in and get fit at second swing. <laughs>